Good evening. My name is Tim DeShriver, and I'm an associate professor in sport management, and I've been here at the University of Delaware for 20 years. Uh, my name is Jim Caden. I'm an adjunct professor in the sports management program, and I'm also the director of the Ice Arena Outdoor Pool, and starting in May will be my 30th year. So, Tim, the athletic department is very excited about our move to Conference USA. How do you think that's going to impact the UD community and the athletic department as a whole? Great question, Jim. I think, first, if we start with the athletic department, I think it's a great opportunity um, for all of our sports to, to take a step up, especially, obviously, with football moving from the FCS level up to FBS. Uh, it's going to be challenging, but I think they're, they're going to be able to, uh, to make that leap. And then, you know, really, you look across all the sports, and um, CSA is a leap from the CAA, our old conference, but I think... Um, the athletic department's been, been working on this for a few years, this upgrade. Um, so I think they uh, might be a few, few tough spots That's early, me. but I think they're, they're going to be successful. For the overall university, I think it's an opportunity for us to um, kind of broaden the geographic scope of the university yeah, in terms of the students that we bring in. We're, we're gen in general, uh, we attract students in the, the mid-Atlantic states. This gives us an opportunity to recruit from students from the south, the southwest, really anywhere from Florida out to, uh, to New Mexico. So I think it's a, a rare opportunity for us. Yeah, I think you're right. It's going to be fun. Um, one of the big things, obviously, with Delaware football is tailgating. Now with Conference USA, they're going to have games on Wednesday night. So how do you think that will impact the student involvement and the overall tailgating experience? You know, I teach two classes here at, at UD in sport management, which obviously sport management, you have sport fans. <laughs> yes. Um, but the, the feedback I've gotten from students is, is they're excited for it. You know, it's, it's a midweek game. We're not competing for, against the big, the big games on Saturdays. Uh, the games are going to be broadcast nationally on ESPN, so the students can sit in the student section and get their, their signs on, right. on national mm -hmm. TV and things like that. Um, so I think the students are really, uh, really going to come out for, for games. Yeah, once I, we start. I think too, have, um, in the fall, too, it's nice in October, so you don't have to worry too much about the cold weather, too. Mm -hmm. Definitely get the students out. What about um, now Delaware is going to be playing Colorado? Connecticut, Wake Forest, how do you think that will impact the exposure for the university too as well for those games? I think, you know, when we, when we play those teams in the, in the Power Five conferences now, uh, you know, Colorado or, or those types of schools, um, mainly they're going to be on the road. Unfortunately, we're not, we're not probably going to have Alabama coming here to Delaware <laughs> right. to play us. But those schools are all in conferences that have, you know, contracts with CBS, ESPN, Fox, so while those Tuesday, Wednesday night games will get a lot of exposure, think about us playing, you know, a Saturday at 1 o'clock on CBS against Alabama in September. So I think from an exposure standpoint, it's really going to, um, you know, that, that, that Blue Hen brand is really going to take off. Right. And hopefully Dion will still be there when we play Colorado. That would be fun. Hopefully. You never know <laughs> You never Dion. know with Dion. <laughs> what about, um, you think College Game Day will finally come to Delaware, hopefully? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would um, be a lot of fun. I think, <laughs> Have it uh, out on the green. I think the Blue Hen Nation would uh, would uh, would uh, come out in droves if we had, uh, you know, the set on the green on a Saturday morning. Uh, might take a few years, mm -hmm. but you know, JMU moved up a few years ago, and they already had College Game Day there, given all their success. I think they're kind of the model for us. If we could follow a similar path to JMU, I think you know everybody would look at it and say this was a was a really good move. How do you think this year with the transition will, you think fans will be into it or just so excited and they'll still come out and just the last kind of last year we're in the yeah, FES as a... I hope so. We don't, we don't want to see our, our fans go away. I think, um, you know, they might have to do some creative marketing to get folks out since we're not going to be playing for a championship per se. But, you know, we have a lot of diehard fans who, uh, you know, whether we're playing New Hampshire or, or Connecticut, are going to come out, yeah. So um, I hope while this year is a transition year, our fans will, will stay with us and uh, and keep coming out. Hopefully we'll have some good weather. We uh, last yeah. few years we've had yeah, some games last, where last weather hasn't was, helped us. Yeah, a lot of students that work for the, down at the football um, program, the weather was not good. No. <laughs> Every no. time we had a home game, it rained. So no. what do you think would be one of the biggest challenges as we get ready for Conference USA? Um, probably just the upgrade in, in competition. Okay. You know, CSUA, you, CUSA across the board in most sports, we're talking about a, uh, a higher level of competition. So we're going to have to recruit a little bit better athlete um, to, to compete. But I think as, as, the, as we get there, it'll happen. Yeah. And or, the support of the universities behind it. I know a lot of people in the athletic department are excited about it. Exactly. So that wraps us up. 
Thank you for joining us tonight. Now let's watch Tyler and his HN, HSN cast try some Top Golf. <laughs> 